好，去到二零一三年嘅第四条题目啦，又系基础遗传学嘅。今次考我哋嘅咧就系红绿色盲，咁题目咧都提咗我哋嘅啦。原来佢系一个性连锁嘅基因遗传病，就喺 X c h r o m o s o m 上面嘅隐性嘅特性嚟嘅。今次咧我哋有两个人物，一个就是 Peter， 佢系红绿色盲嘅，而佢个女 Mary 咧就系正常视力嘅。而 Part A 就叫我哋推论一下 Mary 嘅基因型啦。而题目考啲乜嘢咧？第一啦就系性连锁基因，咁题目今次都好。好嘅，提咗我哋咧，红绿色盲系性连锁嘅基因遗传病。咁除咗红绿色盲之外咧，地中海贫血症都系一款性连锁基因嘅遗传病。而第二个要考我哋嘅就系点样去决定一个人类嘅性别啦。对于人类嘅男性，我哋系有一条 X chromosome 同埋一条 Y chromosome， 而女性咧就有两条 X chromosome。咁而家啦，正式入题目啦。都系嗰句啦，当我哋心算冇咁叻嘅时候咧，写条数式帮自己咧系无可厚非嘅。而慢慢当我哋熟习咗嘅时候，我哋就唔需要咁依赖于个数式啦。好似而家呢个情况一样，我画就画俾大家睇啫。我哋唔系当呢个基因遗传图系我哋嘅答案，佢系帮助我哋推论嘅一个工具嚟嘅啫。咁所以你唔需要跟到两 Sir 画得咁仔细噶，画翻啲 X 啊 Y 嗰啲已经好足够噶啦。今次叻嗰啲 s y m 都系叻俾你睇嘅啫。x 大加 a 就喺 x 染色体上面一个正常视力嘅等位基因 ，x 细加 a 咧就喺 x 染色体上面一个色盲嘅等位基因，而 y 咧就系 y 嘅染色体，而上面系冇任何嘅正常视力或者色唔色盲嘅等位基因嘅存在。咁首先咧，根據資料 ，Peter 係一個紅綠色盲嘅男人啦，所以睇翻 sex c h r o m o s o m 嘅話咧，佢一定係一個 X Y 嘅配搭嚟嘅。而由於佢係色盲啊嘛，咁根據翻題目，佢又話係隱性喎，咁一定係 X 世界 A 能夠 Y 啦。咁跟住啦，就去到 Mary 啦。Mary 呢，佢係一个正常视力嘅女仔。咁既然女仔，咁即係两个 X 啦。而 Mary 嘅呢两个 X 嘅 chromosome 呢，其中一个必然係嚟自于 Peter 嘅。咁所以啦 ，Mary 一定係一个 X 嘅世界 A。而 Mary 本身係正常视力啊嘛。咁所以佢另一个 X chromosome 呢，一定係一个大街 A 嘅 a l e o 啦。咁所以我哋可以肯定呢。Mary 一定系呢个 heterozygous 嘅情况，咁啊送佛送到西啦，既然画得俾你睇啦，咁呢个 X 嘅大家 A 咧，自不然就系由阿妈嗰度嚟嘅，咁所以啦，阿妈咧一定唔会系一个色盲嘅情况啦。但系至于阿妈嘅另一条 X c h r o m o s o m 究竟系有大家 A 定细家 A 咧，我系不得而知，因为成条题目入面咧，佢系冇出现过阿妈嘅，咁题目亦都冇问你阿妈啊嘛。咁所以啦，呢一步呢係純粹做俾你睇嘅啫，你係唔需要答落去嘅。咁但係你起碼已經知道啦 ，Mary 係一個集合型嘅情況。咁你話啦，哎呀，兩 Sir 我真係唔想咁依賴條數式咧，唔緊要，我哋用返四步成詩啦。不過你今次見到第四步呢，係唔需要答嘅，因為題目已經講咗俾你聽，原來紅綠色盲呢係一個隱性嘅特性嚟嘅。咁即係淨係做一二三呢就已經足夠啦。咁所以啦，一開波見得到啦。Peter 咧就紅綠色盲，咁就必然咧係有一個 X chromosome 係有呢個隱性嘅等位基因，咁所以佢先係色盲啊嘛。跟住到阿女咯，阿、啊、女咧兩個 X， 佢其中一個 X 咧係必然嚟自於 Peter 嘅，咁所以啦，佢必然有一個 X 嘅世界 A recessive allele 啦。但係 Mary 本身自己係正常視力噶嘛，咁即係話啦，佢嘅另一個 X chromosome 咧。系一定有一个大街 A 嘅 allele， 亦即系一个 dominant 嘅 allele， 亦即系一个显性嘅等位基因。咁所以边个集合型啊 ？Mary 就系集合型啦。咁有一样嘢想提大家嘅，你就唔好用呢啲咩 X 大 A 细 A 咧去作为你呢个集合型嘅答案嘅表现，因为你唔系用紧基因遗传图去答呢个答案，所以你唔可以用呢啲 symbol 咧去作为你嘅答案嘅。好，跟住啦，就去到 Part B 啦。Mary 呢就成家立室啦，佢而家呢就驮住咗个小朋友。咁下面呢幅图呢，就係佢嗰个胎嘅核型 c a r r i e r 题。好，咁 Part B 嘅呢两条题目呢，有一个共通点嘅，就係、是、你一定要用返呢个 photo micrograph 呢个核型呢，去帮助你答题目嘅。好，咁我哋逐一击破啦。咁第一条呢，就要我哋用返幅图啦，去推论返究竟呢个胎呢，係咪红绿色盲呢？同埋解释你嘅答案。咁其实成条题目啦，就考翻我哋究竟核型啊。有咩用呢？咁其实核型就能够显示到一个人咧，佢嗰个染色体嘅数量啦，同埋结构。咩叫结构啊？就系嗰啲长与短啦。你见到啦，嗱 ，chromosome one 咧呢啲较为长嘅，但系 chromosome twenty one 啊、twenty two 啦呢啲较为短嘅。而第二样嘢考我哋就系咩叫基因突变，另一个就系咩叫染色体突变。咁、那个咁啊极速温一温书啦。基因变异咧就系讲紧喺我哋嘅 DNA 个 base sequence 嘅转变啦，多咗个少咗个掉咗位。
。二啦就係染色體嘅突變啦，就係講緊染色體嘅數量啦、結構啦、長咗啊、短咗啊、多咗啊嘅一個變化啦。所以成個 Part B One 最關鍵嘅咧就係你知唔知道紅綠色盲究竟佢係基因突變所造成啊，定係染色體突變所造成啦？而其實題目咧係出賣咗答案俾你噶啦，因為佢講到明嘅紅綠色盲係喺 X 嘅染色體上面嘅一個等位基因所導致嘅，咁所以答案就係唔能夠顯示到呢個胎係咪紅綠色盲啦。咁啊，因為呢幅圖就只能夠顯示到染色體嘅多少同埋佢哋嘅長短，係唔能夠知道入面嗰個 base sequence 嘅變化嘅。而紅綠色盲正正就係喺等位基因入面出事，而唔係成條染色體出事啦。而去到 B 呢，佢就問我哋啦，喂，究竟呢個胎呢係仔定係女啊？跟住就呢，用返幅圖去解釋你嘅答案。咁呢一條題目呢，又係考我哋點樣辨別一個人類嘅性別啦。最重要嘅概念就係你要知道第二十三對嘅染色體就係我哋嘅性染色體。咁你見到啦，佢哋嘅長短呢係差唔多嘅。咁所以咧，亦都意味住咧，佢哋兩個都係 X chromosome， 所以呢個胎咧，佢係一個女性嚟嘅。好，又嚟到一點出發嘅時候啦。今次呢條題目咧，就用色盲作為切入點，咁啊可以問下我哋啦，一個病患者或者一個所謂正常人啦，佢基因型啦，究竟係純合定係雜合啦？而作為一種遺傳病啦，咁究竟紅綠色盲係屬於基因突變所造成啊，定係染色體突變所造成咧？今次嘅紅綠色盲咧，就係基因突變嘅例子啦。下次可能就問你有關於。染色體突變所導致嘅基因遺傳病，例如唐氏綜合症啦。另一個導向咧就問我哋性別嘅決定啦，當中亦都係考我哋有關於 sex c h r o m o s o m e 嘅概念啦，就係、是、第廿三對嘅染色體啦。而題目啦，亦都有問我哋有關於核型嘅概念嘅，佢有咩嘅功用啦，亦都有啲咩嘅限制啦，我哋亦都要知道嘅。呢條題目啦，做啲咩嘅變奏呢？除咗紅綠色盲之外呢，原來地中海貧血症都係一款性連鎖嘅遺傳病，而佢嘅特性呢，係同紅綠色盲一模一樣嘅，都係喺 X chromosome 上面一個隱性嘅等位基因所導致嘅。另一款嘅問題呢，就可以問下你啦 ，Mary 呢個基因型你會知道㗎啦，啊咁啊佢老公呢，佢都有一個特定嘅基因型，或者講咗俾你聽佢嘅表現型係如何、哦。就叫你去計返啦，啊咁如果佢哋想生個小朋友係仔嚟嘅。如果佢呢個仔係有正常視力嘅話，個機會率會係幾多啊？又或者佢生個女嘅，嗱個女得嚟呢，又要患有色盲嘅話，個機會率又有幾大啊？呢啲呢，佢就算唔問你長題目，攞嚟做 MC 呢，都可以問你嘅。Question four is about basic genetics and the case study is about the red green color blindness and is given that it is an X-linked recessive trait in humans and Peter is red green color blind while his daughter Mary is normal. And in part A, it asks us to deduce Mary's genotype without using the genetic diagram, just like the last year. For part A, it's checking two concepts. The first concept is about the sex-linked genes, refer to the gene located on the sex chromosome, and it's given that this time the genes is located on the X chromosome. And the other concept is about sex determination in humans. We learned that males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. While female has two X chromosome. That's what I mentioned before. If you are not that familiar with the mind calculation, so you write down some steps for your reference is absolutely acceptable. And in this case, of course, I need to remind you that, and you do not need to rely on the genetic diagram that much. So let's take a look at the genetic diagram for reference to get familiar with the logic flow. Do not need to draw the genetic diagram in details. And the symbols are just for your reference. We let the X big A be the normal color vision allele on the X chromosome, and X small A be the color blindness allele on the X chromosome, and Y be the Y chromosome. There is no allele for the normal vision of color blindness on the Y chromosome. So for the possible genotypes of Peter, because he is a color blind male, and for the male he must have the X Y chromosome. But what about for the X chromosome? It should be X big A or X small A, because Peter is color blind. Therefore, Peter must have a X small A chromosome. So what about Mary? Mary is a normal vision female, so she must have the double X chromosome. But what about X big A or X small A? And for these two X chromosome, there must be one X small A chromosome comes from Peter. Therefore, Mary must have a X small A chromosome. 
At the same time, Mary is normal vision. Therefore, she must have the X big A for the other X chromosome. Therefore, Mary, she must be the heterozygous condition. Now remember that when you answer the question, the genotype, because we are not using the genetic diagram, cannot use the symbol X big A or X small A as the answer. We cannot. And for Peter's wife, Although she never appear in the question, no matter for the basic background or the part A. However, I also talk about it for your reference. Or you do not need to mention her in the answer. Mary is normal vision. She has the X big A in the chromosome. And this X big A chromosome must come from her mother. So that's why Peter's wife, she must not be the color blindness individual. But what about the other X chromosome? X big A or X small A, we have no idea because she never appeared in the question as well. But what about the other X chromosome? X big A or X small A, we never have idea because she never appeared in the question. So by using the genetic diagram, we are able to construct the answer already. But what about you told me that, no Mr. Leung, I don't want to use the genetic diagram anymore. I really want to think by myself by using the logic flow so you can use the four step pedigree analyze to construct your answer. But one thing I would like to remind is that we do not need to use the step four because the question has already told you red green color brightness is an X-linked recessive trait in humans. So for the first step, we need to identify the parent's phenotype and deduce the possible allele because Mary's mother never appears. That's why we only consider Peter is okay. Peter is red green color blindness. He must have a X chromosome bearing the recessive allele for red green color blindness. And for step two, we need to identify Mary's phenotype and deduce the possible allele. Being a female, Mary must have an inherited X chromosome bearing the recessive allele from her father. At the same time, Mary is normal. Therefore, she must have a X chromosome being dominant for the normal eyesight. As what I mentioned that you do not need to mention Mary's mother at all because she never appeared. But we are still able to talk about the genotype of Mary. She is the heterozygous condition. As what I mentioned that we cannot use X big A or X small A as the answer because we are not using the genetic diagram. Therefore, we express our answer like this. Mary is heterozygous. And for part B, Mary has her own family. Mary is pregnant. And this photomicrograph shows the karyotype of her fetus. And you can see the 23 pairs of chromosomes shown here. And there is a common feature for part B1 and 2. We need to use the photomicrograph to support our answer. So for part B1, from the photomicrograph, can we deduce whether this fetal will be red, green, colorblind or not? Explain your answer. This question is checking the concept about karyotype. Karyotype, it shows the number and structures of the chromosome. What does it mean the structure? It means the length. So you can see that chromosome number one is a bit longer. And for the chromosome 19, 21, 22, they are a bit shorter. That's the karyotype. And the second concept is about gene mutation and the chromosomal mutation. So what is gene mutation? It means the change in the base sequence of DNA in a gene. And what is chromosome mutation? It means the change in the structure or number of chromosome. And we need to use the photomicrograph for the reasoning. And the part B1, the critical concept, you need to identify red green color blindness. Is it caused by gene mutation or chromosome mutation? And from the question, it's already given that. It's given that red green color blindness is an X-linked recessive trait in humans. Therefore, the karyotype cannot show that the fetal will be red green color blind or not because the photomicrograph only shows you the number and appearance of the chromosome. However, the red green color blindness is due to the presence of a certain allele due to the gene mutations. And for part B2, is the fetus a boy or a girl? Explain your answer with reference to the photomicrograph, the karyotype. 
And for this part, it's also checking the concept of the karyotype, particularly the 23rd pair of chromosome, which is the sex chromosome for the sex determination. So that's why for the fetus, she is a female because the 23rd pair of chromosome in the karyotype has similar size or length. Therefore, these sex chromosomes are both X chromosomes. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question starts from the color blindness and then it checks the concept about the genotypes no matter of a healthy individual or the color blindness patients. And for the red-green color blindness is a type of genetic disease. So we need to recall the genetic disease can be caused by the genetic mutation or the chromosome mutation. Maybe next question, it will ask you the Down syndrome, which is caused by the chromosome mutation. And the second idea is about the sex determination. And it checks the concept about the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. And also for the karyotype, it does not only check for the function, but also the limitation. It cannot show us the base sequence of the DNA. So any possible question variation. First of all, another example of sex linkage genetic disease, such as thalassemia, which is an X-linked recessive trait. And for the second one, it's about calculation. For example, it's given that uh, Mary's husband, he is a normal vision male. So we need to calculate the chance of giving birth to a boy or a girl who is normal or suffering from the color blindness. There are different possibilities for you to calculate.